And there we have Ulu with her pups. They're all doing good. A little bit of hair in the box there because uh, the first few days after uh, a dog like Ulu has uh, puppies, they uh, lose all the hair on their belly around their nipples to uh, give the puppies better access to it. What are you doing, Kurgan? Mr. Kurgan right here, checking out the pups. We're looking at him, giving him a stern look, letting him know uh, he needs to be respectful. He's very good with puppies. She knows that. Man, it's my box of supplies. See, uh, pups were born yesterday, they're all doing really good. So that show everybody Kurgan meeting the pups. See, you're doing to that puppy is uh, making them go potty. She can smell which puppies have to go potty, and uh, she licks them to make them go. That's uh, nature's way of keeping the whelping box clean the first few weeks. She'll eat everything they do until uh, they start eating solid food at around uh, three and a half, four weeks old, and then she'll stop. During the uh, first several days after birth, the puppies can't go to the bathroom on their own. Mom has to lick them to make them go potty. So if you're ever caring for an orphaned puppy, remember you have to do that multiple times a day. You just take a warm washcloth and rub them down there and they'll void. See how the puppies are happy, strong, and vigorous. And uh, mom is doing very well after uh, giving uh, birth yesterday, and so are all the puppies. In fact, that uh, little puppy that I saved that was choking is that one right there. See, she's, uh, she's doing good. Yeah, right, mama. She's the one on the far right there. That's a little miracle. You can see, uh, we have uh, all of us have a very close bond. Mom totally tolerates me around her and handling her pups, and uh, even tolerates Kurgan around them uh, after a day of birth. Which isn't something you see in a pack that isn't quite as uh, close and cohesive as ours. She's pushed all the shop rags off to the side there, normally all around her. They help absorb anything. They uh, are nice these first few days because uh, you can use them to clean up any messes. 
Mom uh, has a lot of discharge for the first week or so, and you can clean that up and take them out and throw in new ones. They're very easy to disinfect. So she's making another puppy go potty now. to see two of them in this litter because uh, we didn't get any in the last litter. Just goes and shows you. Blue is a recessive trait. Kurgan's dad is blue so that's why it's popping up in this litter. Even though Kurgan is black he carries blue recessively. Well that's all. I hope you enjoyed it. You can see the pups are doing uh, incredibly awesome and uh, so is mom that's all bye yeah, you can see Kurgan licking up and cleaning up after the puppies just like mom something you rarely see from a male He's licking the pup stem. You can see Hulu trusts him. And I trust him too or I wouldn't be allowing him to do this. I know from the last litter that he was very good with those puppies just like this also. Well, I'm saying, hey dad, you're getting a little close. Good boy. I thought I'd share that uh, rare opportunity with you. He's going to lay there and keep an eye on him. That uh, cage is what I put around it at night. So, so no one bugs her when I'm sleeping because my dogs are loose. That's all. Bye from Miss Ulu in the pack.